Yo, what's up guys, it's Handy Design, and I'm going to be showing y'all how I do my player treatment and my graphics. So yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so first I have my, uh, right here is going to be my, uh, you can look back and see the original right here. This is just the original, this is the one we're going to edit. So we're going to go up here. We already made the cutouts, so we're going to click camera off filter. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna hit basic contrast. I usually be around contrast to about 28. Highlights, turn your highlights down. Whites, turn your whites down, like all the way. And then we're gonna turn our texture up all the way. Clarity to about 20 something. Like that, that's the look we're going for right there. Come down to detail. Sometimes you add noise, sometimes you add sharpening, sometimes you don't. It just depends. Just gonna add a little bit of sharpening. And then we're gonna go to color mixer and we're just gonna change the tone of his skin. So we're gonna go to hue orange. Orange is gonna be the skin, so we can make his skin a little bit more red. You can see we're just kinda stopping that yellow. And then we make the yellows a little more red as well. And then we can desaturate those just a bit to where we have more of not yellow tone and once we do that we're pretty much done with the camera raw so you can see the difference right there in just the camera raw so the next thing we're going to do we're going to add an adjustment layer up here hue and saturation saturation all the way down now we're going to right click and make sure it's above our edited layer clipping mask and then press Control i just to invert it you're going to be on this part of the mask uh, with a black brush, hardness all the way up, opacity flow all the way up, and you're just a uh, white brush, my fault. You're going to brush in all of the whites, the whites that are supposed to be white. Like These whites, they have these little blue tints, and so we're just going to fix that. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I'm done. Alright guys, we're done desaturating the white. You can see the before and after right there. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to click on our player. Go to select color range up here. You're going to select um, highlights. yeah. And then um, we're going to adjust this until we see the highlights we want. When we want these highlights right here above the arm, these little highlights on the jersey. All those highlights right there, so we're just gonna mess with it until we see what we want. So, like right there, should be pretty good. Uh, right after you do that, you can go up to adjustments, brightness, and contrast, turn up our brightness, and uh, it's gonna be clipping mask already. So you can see that difference right there and um, after you just put it to 150 you can adjust it just turn it down or up whatever 
there. I actually think a little bit higher looks good. Yeah, right there looks good. Then we're gonna do the same thing. Select and color range. Shadows, same thing, just for the shadows. That's obviously selected too much, so. There we go, that looks better. Maybe we can just turn it down to about right there. There we go, that looks pretty good. Next, what we're gonna do is we're going to go to our, we're gonna make a new layer right here. Create clipping mask. Take our brush, hardness all the way up, everything all the way up. And then we're gonna take our, um, we're gonna choose, try to choose a, uh, 50% gray layer that just means that it is directly between the black and the white right here And when we put on overlay you can see if it is Because it will change color so when I turn it on it's a little bit too light because it changes it So I'm just gonna make it a bit darker Color it on now see how it looks All right, that looks pretty good now. We're gonna go to this tool right here we're gonna click burn right here, and we're going to put it to about 60. And we're just going to paint in all of these little shadows. And make sure this up here is head on shadows as well. So yeah, I'll see y'all after I pick out all of these shadows. Alright, after you're done with that guys, this is the before and after, pretty big difference right there. What we're going to do is right click, dodge tool, stay on the same layer, and we're going to do the same things, same thing. Usually this one is not as uh, tedious as that one, but all of these highlights you see, we're just going to hit these highlights with our uh, dodge tool. You get in near these eyes you just want to make his eyes brighter a lot brighter so just hit it with the uh, dodge and burn and I like to also make the nose brighter and some of these cheeks Alright guys, that's after the dodge and burn. Here we go. You can see that difference right there. Next thing we're gonna do, right brightness and contrast all the way up. Create clipping mask, control I. Make sure we are on our white brush. And we can paint in um, some of these eyes right here like this. Make sure that it we're gonna actually 
turn down our hardness and turn down our brightness a little bit since we already hit it with the uh, with the uh, dodge so we can just hit it like that right there and next this is very optional if you're going for like a darker themed picture I would do this but I turn it down to about minus 40 clipping mask control I now what you can do is stay on your brush stay on white and just with 100 100 100 opacity 100 uh, flow you can just color in between all of these uh, between all the shadows you can sort of color and you can just make your entire player instead of adding exposure exposure sort of makes the player look um, not not realistically dark I would say and this is kind of a good way to keep the edges of him highlighted but so there looks it looks like there would be like a backlight basically so I'm just gonna do this throughout the player and uh, show you all how it would look And there we go guys I'll just make our entire image darker right here so this is the uh, full tutorial this is what it would look like uh, here is the before and the after you can see it and it's a pretty big difference you know this uh, I'll actually show you this is the same player treatment except for the glow I used on this image right here so and I added exposure to this one as well but it's a very viable uh, texture you know this this is just no exposure you can add this to a daylight photo manipulation a nighttime photo manipulation whatever so yeah i hope this helps y'all guys and uh, if y'all want more tutorials just let me know and i'll see ya